These breakthrough brushes feature 100% vegan synthetic natrophil fibers. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my January boxy charm here for you today, and like always, gone ahead and opened up this box. I've tried out the different things inside. So I've got some little thoughts, some little thoughts, some little thoughts and some little opinions on the different products inside. So let's jump into it. So it looks like the theme this month is eyes. It says eyes on 2016, all eyes on you for 2016. This year's BoxyCharm resolution, making 2016 the most charming year yet. Really cute. So that's the theme. So first off, I got a brush set. This is the Royal and Lane Nickel Brush Set Revolution. It's a full size and it's a value of $23.97 because you get three different brushes that are $7.99 each. It says, take your application to the next level. These breakthrough brushes feature 100% vegan synthetic natrophil fibers that mimic the performance and feel of fine natural hair for a flawless finish. Brushes are sold individually on the Royal and Lane Nickel website as follows. So you can like look up there, you know, the different brushes. So I did try these today and I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about them. Um, I do like the, let me show you over here so you can see them. I do like this one, which is the, what is that one? I think that's the detail. Yeah, I do like the detail brush and the smudger, which is this one. But this one, which is the crease, I like the shape of it, um, that it really does concentrate the color into your crease well. But these fibers are just, they deposit a lot of product, so it's a little bit difficult to blend with. At least that's what I found. I had a little bit of difficulty blending. I had to bring in another brush to really like, kind of blur my crease a little bit more. So I think these are fine, um, but I don't know. I think I need to learn how to use them really because I think Sigma has one that's very similar to this and I'm just not used to using a brush that, th that is this shape. So I think I have a little bit more of a learning curve with this. I'm not wowed by them. I think they're okay. Then I got a Blink Mascara. This is the Blink Mascara Amplified. It's a full size and it's a value of $26. It says coat lashes with a glossy, volumizing, and extending application that forms tiny water-resistant tubes around the lashes. Applies like a traditional mascara, giving you the ability to add as many coats as you want to build your desired look. Twirl the wand inside the mascara tube to coat the lash. Hold the wand horizontally and start at the base of the lashes and go right to the tips. Wiggle the wand slightly from side to side as you apply the mascara. So I have tried Blink Mascara in the past and not been, it like unscrews, so it's got this little outside thing and then you, you know, the mascara is inside of it, which is really cute, cute packaging. So I've tried this before and not been a fan of it, so I tried it again today. I just really am not a fan of this mascara. Um, it just, I don't know. I've heard that people really like these um, tubing mascaras because they don't smudge, which is great because I have a smudging issue, so I'll make an annotation if it smudges or not, But because um, I don't remember if it smudged the last time I tried this or not. But I don't know. I feel like it just doesn't build on itself very nicely and doesn't build volume, which I apply probably five coats of mascara realistically. I go way overboard with my mascara, so... The, this just didn't seem to build very nicely on itself. It kind of like was clumping together and this is what I have on my lashes today and I just don't think it's all that impressive. So I don't know. It says stop painting your lashes, tube them. I don't know if I'm a fan of tubing my lashes. I might need to try it a little bit more but I know that Blink, this specific mascara, I know it's kind of a love or a hate situation. People seem to really, really love it or really not like it. So if you love it, it's awesome that it's in the box. Then I got this Star Looks Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen. It's a full size and it's a value of $19. Says this felt tipped pen makes it impeccably easy to create flawless eyelines of any variety. I'm pretty sure I've had this exact eyeliner pen before from Star Looks, or if it's not this one, it's another one from Star Looks. Um, I got it in some other subscription service. It might have been BoxyCharm, but anyway, I really liked it before and I really do like it now. I used this today. I did use a little bit of black shadow over it to kind of smudge it out a little bit, but I just find this applicator really easy to use because it is a felt tip, but it has a little bit of like give to it. So I find those easier to use. I think a felt tip that doesn't have any bend to it, it's just really hard to get a line precisely. So I feel like this is a lot easier to use. 
It's not the blackest liner I've ever used, but I just find it's easy to work with. It is long wearing. I haven't found it to smudge or smear or any of that kind of stuff. Seems really long wearing to me, but just, I really like the application of it. I think it's really easy to use. I like this. And then the thing that people are probably most excited about that I'm really excited about is the Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting that this is in here. It says features 20 all new smoldering eyeshadows in a dramatic variety of hues and textures. It says it's a value of $39.95, but this is always 50% off on the Coastal Scents website, so like $19.95. But I do already own this palette, so I'm either gonna put that in my freelance kit or pass it on to a friend. So this is mine here. Isn't it pretty? I think it's such a pretty palette. Like it's just nice to look at. The back is simple, but the front is so pretty. Very similar to the Naked Smoky palette. This is what it looks like inside. I've been meaning to do a tutorial with this palette, so if you want to see a tutorial with this, let me know. This is what I've got on my eyes today. I could definitely do one because I love this palette. I think it's awesome. Let me show you some swatches. You can just see from the swatches, these are really nice shadows really pigmented, a lot of different color options here. They are a little bit powdery, but not super powdery. I mean, you might just have to tap off your brush a little bit, but um, just a little bit powdery. But I find them really easy to work with. They blend well together. They wear well throughout the day. I love the whole like collection of colors in this palette. It's just smoky and fun, and y'all know I love a good smoky eye. So I really love this palette. I love that they included it in this box. Um, this is probably tied with the Reveal 2 for me. I love that one, but I really love this one too. I don't know if I could choose between the two of them, but this one's awesome. So if you want to see that tutorial, let me know. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my January box. So I just added up the value of my box and I factored in the Revealed Smoky as being $19.95 versus $39.95. And the overall value is $88.92. So another really good box. I think this was a really good box. You know, even though I don't like this mascara very much at all, and I'm still kind of figuring out these brushes, I do still think it's a really good box because I love the Revealed Smoky so much, and I do really like that liner. So overall, it's a win. So I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you got in your BoxyCharm. If you want to sign up, it's just BoxyCharm.com, but I'll leave a link down below for y'all. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.